guys, welcome back to another Heschka oil assembly video. In this video, we're going to show you the steps we take to assemble a 3 and 1 8 5K FLS manual gate valve. Before we get started, some of the things you'll need. Grease, a 1 inch PVC pipe, hydraulic torque wrench, rubber mallet or hammer, an adjustable wrench. You'll also need some personal protection equipment, including safety glasses and gloves. Another thing you'll want to do is make sure the body of the valve and all the components are free of dirt and debris. One last thing to note before we start is that while we are building a 3 inch 5 manual gate valve here, most of the same techniques and methods will be the same for other sizes of FLS gate valves. So the first thing that we're going to install is the seat retainer. The curved edges of the seat retainer should be installed such that they align with the through bore of the valve. Next, we'll install our ID and OD face seals into the seats. Our assembler here will add a light layer of grease. This will help keep the seals in place and it'll also help keep the seat in place when you install it in the seat pocket of the body. The seals should face towards the seat pocket and away from the middle of the body. The assembler then repeats the same steps for the second seat. With the seats and the retainer plate in place, the next thing you can do is install the gate. We add a light layer of grease to each side of the gate. This just helps the gate to install a bit easier. Place the gate between the two seats and lightly push down on either side of the gate. Once the gate is installed far enough, it will start to slide down to the bottom of the valve by itself. With your gate in place, you can add a light layer of grease to the stem and install it into the gate. You can see in the video that the assembler here only installs the stem a few threads into the gate. This will allow the assembler easier access to the top of the stem when the bonnet is installed. Because this is a 5000 PSI rated working pressure valve, it comes with bonnet locating pins. So we will install those at the same time that we install the studs. We apply a light layer of grease to the bottom end of the tap end stud and install all eight into the body of the valve. Next, apply a small amount of grease into the bonnet gasket groove on the underside of the bonnet and place the bonnet gasket in the groove. This will help keep your bonnet gasket in place when installing the bonnet onto the valve. With your bonnet installed on the top of the valve, you can now lightly grease the upper portion of the studs. Next, you can install the nuts hand tight. With the bonnet now sitting evenly, you'll need to torque the nuts in the recommended pattern and to the correct foot pounds. This information can be found in the Heschka Oil Operation Manual available on our website. Lightly grease the ID of the SLS seal and install it into the bonnet over the stem. To install it in the bonnet, we use the flat end of a PVC pipe and a rubber mallet. Thank you. 
lightly grease the threads of your packing gland and install it into the bonnet. Then lightly grease your first set of bearing races and thrust bearing and place it over the stem onto the packing gland. Place your stem adapter over the first bearing set and the stem. You will then need to line up both the hole on the stem adapter and the stem and slide your stem pin through. Lightly grease your last set of bearings and place them over the stem adapter. Next, install your o-ring into the groove on the stem adapter. With your stem adapter in place, you'll want to lightly grease the outer threads on the bonnet and install your bearing cap. Make sure the valve is in the fully open position when tightening the bearing cap. This will ensure that the bearing cap stays tight when opening and closing the valve. Then you can install your o-ring into the groove on the bearing cap. Next, you'll need to apply three layers of Teflon tape to your half inch MPT grease fitting and install into the bonnet of the valve. Lastly, install your tap end grease fitting into the bearing cap. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and don't forget to check out our website at www.heshkaoil.com, and we'll see you in the next one.